Anyways, uh, how making no excuses despite injury crisis. This is title around uh, 9.48 a.m. This came out today. Uh, I think you lose control of your destiny if you're always looking for external factors why you aren't performing at your best. I always believe no matter what the circumstances, you can still win games and you can still ask your players to perform. I've always been a firm believer of that. It's still in our hands, and I back the players well to play. With the players, we have to play. We have to play well. I couldn't agree more on this. I could not agree more on this. Now I agree on it. The old man agrees no. with his head, but he doesn't really agree at heart because his arguments are no, never, no. That's that's his, that's the that's the one thing he said today that was worthy of note. Yet again, he's not blaming injuries. Well, in that, he's got every right now, but he's not. Well, that's the way it needs to be. That's the way it needs to be, uh, because you, you just don't shut the, you shut down the club and and and, and, and you're done. No, you got to keep going. You got to continue. And he can still ask the players, and you need to perform. You need to get the job done. What are you doing here? You know, there's no way that, that this guy should get past you or whatnot. You shouldn't tackle this dude to the ground in front of everybody, including the referees. What are you doing? You know, that type of stuff. And I think that uh, that's a very, that's a leadership type, a leader type uh, statement. Hopefully, obviously, it's true. I think that I do believe that if this is, if this is what he's telling the, the people, I love it. I love it because, um, these players know, you know, they have a leader, and of course, that the, they don't have just because of injuries, they can't put their heads down. Now, it's easier said than done at times, of course, but uh, I do believe that it's uh, it's certainly a good a good message for everybody out there as well, uh, you know, that are yeah. that are criticizing. So I agree with that a hundred percent. The only thing he does by trying to poo poo the effect that injuries have had. Is he? He's actually given more ammunition to the Eddie Out, Eddie Out Brigade. Why is that? Because because if he's well, if he's saying in his own words, injuries are not the problem. Well, then he's the problem. Well, he you know, and that's no, just no, but I didn't, I didn't fuel the fire. Well, he's not saying that the injuries are not the problem. He's saying that he's not going to use. He can still ask. He's, uh, yeah, looking for external factors, you can still ask your players to perform. So he's saying he, he still expects the players to perform and win matches, mm. but is he actually giving them the best opportunity to do that? But the decision he's making. You don't. You what do you? What you, know, do you think? And, and instead of saying, "Have a look at what," have a look at the squad that I can pick from tomorrow. I mean, you you, you, nah. you were flabbergasted when when you when you realized what was available. But he can't say, that, man. If I'm the player, I'm changing my I'm putting my socks on, and then he says, "Well, look at these numpties I got on the bench." You know what? What, what do you think is going? What do you, what do you expect me to do? Not a single player. Everybody's going to score on goals tomorrow, man. Come on, man. You can't you 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 can't say that because obviously you got to maintain some level of. And he doesn't say that, and that's the point I'm making. That that he's he's, he's he's but by he's shooting himself in the foot. No, he's not. By man. continually saying we can't use injuries in, as an excuse. No, but but because in my opinion, he's entitled to use injuries as an excuse. Yeah, no, not really. He doesn't have to name players. He just got to say we well, haven't got the squad depth. Well, that we yes need. and no, because there are situ situations on the on the pitch. That could that has nothing to do with injuries. That could be avoided. That could be managed well on many many games throughout the season. So, uh, well, in your opinion, yeah. Well, of course, I say in my opinion. It's like somebody asking me, somebody saying yeah. to one of the, one of them people saying that that uh, when I talk to you, I always think I'm right. No shit. I always, of course, I think I'm right. Why would I say something if I don't think I'm right? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make no sense. Of course, I think I'm right. Why would I say something that I'm I don't believe in? Make no sense. But the thing is. We could have managed the game well and against, did you, against, by the against, way. Against, against Milan. We didn't did you. Yeah, against Milan. We certainly could have done that. Some players, like like Almiron, he should have scored that. You're going to tell me that he was like, oh, my God, my, 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 my mates are out. I can't push this in. No. Either some things in the game should have been handled different. Like, dumb it. Is he, talk, is he thinking about injuries? No. He's just a numpty. So, you know, there's a, a bunch of stuff that defines games. 
that cannot be used as an excuse. Injuries can, can the, be used. The, as dumb, the, the dumbest incident has been rocked out of all proportion simply because it cost us two points. Well, it, but but it's not simply you know, every every player makes mistakes. No, yeah, but but it, just some are, some 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 are, are, are more disastrous than others. Yeah, but it can't just. And that's where the football got. That's where the football gods come in and take a hand and. But it can't stop messing with me brightness. But it, it can't. No, <laughs> no, it's not your brightness, man. It's your damn saturation. You look like you got liver problems. Uh, but it's not. I'm not. I'm not necessarily. It's not taken out of proportion. If it costs us a game, it costs us a game. What's the out of proportion part of it? It's deserved. Yes, it did, it did cost us the game. So need to, but it was a mistake. A mistake that shouldn't have happened. Not a mistake that can't happen. A, a mistake that happened. You know, we've been over all of this. It was a mistake that happened because he was trying too hard. Is it a crime to try too hard? Yes. If it's gonna, no. no. Is it no, a crime to be it, useless? You may, you may, no. You may, no, no, no. Time out. No, 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 man. Now, come on. See, that now you're defending mediocrity. No. Uh, uh, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. Defending mediocrity at all. What was he supposed to do under those circumstances? Not tackle him. Who was he supposed to? No, no. So, not, so you're blaming Dummett. So if he doesn't bring Dummett on and he puts but, say, not, Murphy. But I'm not blaming him for into a high, no, 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 high no, 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 pressure no. situation like Again, that. Again, so you're taking it the wrong I'm not criticizing Eddie for putting Dummett on. I'm criticizing Dummett. That's what I'm doing. So the game management part goes, right, goes uh, for and, all players and, and game and, managers. And, and Dump will be the first person to admit that he dropped a bollock. There we go. But he still... It happens. But, but, Get over no, it. No, 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 no. See, that that doesn't work like that. Man, come on, man. You, 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 you Listen, you commit a crime, you got to do the time. That's just the bottom line. And if you make a mistake like that, because if Dummett would have scored the last winner for the Champions League, it would have been it would have been talked about for decades and decades and years and years. So if it, if it, if it, if right. you take it with with the good, you got to take it with the bad. That's just the way it is. That's just and the do, way the job do, is. Do you think he ha- do you think he hasn't been uh, castigated for it, like? Yeah, but I'm saying, but I'm, I'm bringing back the point. You do, you do, you on, you honestly think that none of his teammates have gone up to him since then and said, "You stupid asshole, da di da di da." Behind the scenes, where nobody else can hear. Maybe so. Maybe so. What the fuck were you doing yeah, there? Yeah, maybe so. So. Exactly. So, so he'll have, he'll have had it in the neck. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying anymore. And I, I uh, uh, pro- probably off nobody more so than Eddie. But we're not going to hear about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah but and j- and also, do you not do you not think he realizes what he's done? I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. But the yeah. the, the thing, the point is, you, right. you you're making it, you're taking it to another level that I have. I wasn't even. Uh, everything he gets on the media, he deserves. That's just the bottom line. Now, unless somebody's saying now. I'm just going to say he deserves what we've said. I don't know what other people have said. Now, if somebody's wishing death upon him and his family, then that's a, that's a, that's an idiot, and that's a whole different story. I'm talking about good, prudent, sober, moral, prudent punditry, pundits, uh, 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 YouTubers, whatever they do. What, if they criticize him yeah. heavily and 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 cutthroatly, uh, if that's a word, and they'll say that, exactly what I that, said. That, that's he per- dropped a bollock. That, that's he the, dropped a that, that's, he dropped a bollock, and that bollock was very very costly. Exactly. Now, again, uh, my, well, but that's it. The point here is that it, do, it doesn't make him all of a sudden a, f- a useless player. I never, who's, who's never worth his I have place never, in the team again. I have never said no, no, but lots of people have. Well, but listen, it, it, I, everybody's entitled to their opinion. The point here is that Adam and uh, anyhow making no excuses despite injury crisis. There was some you can't just blame everything in injuries because some players made decisions and also the manager kept going and going and going and going nonstop against Milan when he should have when he could have been still in the Champions League when he would have just said listen man let's chill out a bit hold back it's a managerial decision man and so there were single mistakes here and there from everybody players and managers included that it goes that doesn't has nothing to do with injuries nothing to do with it now of course injuries do play a big role it's got everything to do with injuries because you wouldn't be in the position of having to make those decisions if it wasn't for it. the decisions that you were saying he made badly. He wouldn't be in the position to have to make those decisions if it wasn't for the injuries. What do you mean? 
If if the injuries are an issue, then don't go forward nonstop like a numpty against Milan. Hold back, protect yourself. That's even that, 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 that that's even it goes with my point, man. You know what I mean? So if you don't have players, then put some of these dudes in. Why are you Why are you sacrificing the players? It doesn't matter if they're good or not. At some point, you just got to put bodies in that are footballers that are energized. Dumb it, one of them that never played. Matt Target to a certain before he got hurt, he could have played. Richie could have played. Dumb it, dumb it did play. Dumb it man, did. He, he was man of the match twice. He only played a few times, man. Come on, man. He only played a few times. You remember Richie for scoring one single goal? Because you know that times we had we had the regular centre backs there. He came in when they weren't available. Yeah. And when he when Eddie had the opportunity to rest them in the Carabao Cup, which is what he did. But the, the depth of the, you know, it's a depth of the squad. I've been saying it for months and months. You know, yes, you can you can argue that Eddie didn't make the right decisions, rightly so. You can argue that, saying the uh, uh, 2020 hindsight, wonderful thing. You shouldn't have used the same eleven players ten times in December. <coughs> and, and and really knocker them. Uh, and a lot of times he should. That's all very well of, in hindsight. A, a, lot of, a lot of times, no, a lot of things we say. Before, but are you going to play a weekend team against Paris or against Milan or against Chelsea in the semi final? No, see again. Of I'm not. not talking about the starting lineup again. You twisting words here. At the end of the game, when we could have game managed the game better, we didn't do it in a lot of these games. That's just the bottom line. That's just the bottom line, man. Whether you want to accept what do you, now, do you think Eddie? If you think Eddie Howe's uh, shy, and the point I'm making is that those decisions wouldn't have even been there to make I don't, if we'd had anywhere near reasonable well, injury situation. I, that's your opinion, like you told me. I don't know that. I know that Eddie's very, very stubborn. That's just the bottom line, in my opinion. He's very, yeah. very stubborn, and you've proved that yourself. Because against Arsenal, you were done. You were over. You, you want to play the, the clip again of, of how pissed off you were and how Eddie wasn't learning from your mistakes and how Eddie, I'm almost to the dark side because Eddie seems to not be understanding. Eddie said, you want me to replay that was right. That? So that, there we go then. That was that, No, no. Because that, that's absolutely right because he'd proven against Wolves that we could play defensive and on the break and beat them and then he went to Arsenal Chelsea sorry and uh, abandoned that after getting slaughtered at Arsenal he, he shut the door against Wolves and we beat them three and out but then when we went to Chelsea he went back to high press football which which was crazy mm -hmm.